Hey guys, it's Wav16, and today we're going to look at the ROM Butta version 4.0.4, uh, version 5. So this is the boot menu that you get as on all of them, and we're going to boot Classic Nerd. It is a relatively long boot up. And yes, there is a point where I just get nothing on the screen, but just kind of give it a second. There we go. Alright, so here we are. And uh, it's not quite connected to the internet yet. It should in a second, though. However, there are Wi Fi problems on this. Uh, ROM, although it's generally worked. We'll just go in here. Okay, there we go. Alright, so here it is. This is the home page. Uh, as you can see, it is much smoother than any other ROM that, uh, that I've tried so far, especially the CM9 Alpha ROM, which I found to be pretty slow when it came to this. But uh, I just installed Google Apps, although I didn't install the Google Apps, I just installed the Play Store. That doesn't matter. So let's just try start off in the browser. Oh, it's gonna sign in here. Alright. And we are on Google. You know it's got the normal ice cream sandwich thing go from the side. And let's just go to uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll go to Yahoo on a Google tablet here. Oh. And it's gonna up the mobile version. And as always with the browser you can request a desktop site and there you go it's very smooth as you can see very fast okay so browser works out well um, no one wants to see the calculator but it's got that you know calendar clock developer tools downloads email we've all seen the email app it works just like it normally does uh, let's just show you some of the graphics abilities on this tablet. Instead of loading up Angry Birds, we've got Minecraft Pocket Edition, which um, is much more taxing. We'll just leave that. And uh, C is going to be Hello. And uh, just in case you guys want to, you know, make this. And we're going to start. As you can see, it's a little stretched. Uh, although it might, since it's not giving me those symbol down here, this might actually be built for a tablet in a way, and it's just stretched out. So let it build the terrain. It is on fancy graphics right now. As you can see, you can run around. It has sound. As you can hear, you know, it renders pretty long distances. Let's go look at the tree so I can show you that it is on fancy. As you can see, we can see through the trees right now. That tree is definitely see through. So. Minecraft Pocket Edition runs fine. There are no hiccups, especially even when on fancy graphics. Let's just exit out of that browser and the Wi-Fi. Okay. So uh, let's just show you. This comes with a kernel, which clocks it at 1.5 gigahertz right away. And this was just what it came default set at. So I'm, I just kept it there, and it seems to run really fast, faster than my 1.8 gigahertz setup I was showing you guys uh, just a few days ago. So you know, you got all the stuff. Let's check out the Play Store. See how fast that pulls up. As you can see, oh, sometimes it does that. All right, so as you can see, it pulled up really fast. Uh, frankly, I think this ROM makes this tablet feel new. Actually, I'll just oops, didn't mean to go to music. Let's go to the apps, and I'll download something for you guys. Uh, let's go to the top. Oh, yeah, as you can see, there is sometimes a little bit of lag, but it's relatively rare. So uh, I don't actually have maps right now, you know, because for some reason Google Apps did not install everything correctly so we're just going to accept and download and as you can see it is downloading at a pretty decent rate uh, and it will install down over here you know, while doing this, obviously you can do other things. installing Google Maps uh, yeah so you can see oh and uh, the also I want to show you guys as you have seen the app uh, drawer button is actually, you know, that, that transition, maybe it's because I've been using Jellybean on my other devices, but it's really fast 
not quite as smooth as the ones in the past. Um, but you do get there in just the same amount of time. It just doesn't look quite as pretty. Uh, and, you know, we got a YouTube app. We'll see if we can play a YouTube video here. Yeah, it loads. Okay. Let's... I don't really know what any of these are. Uh, what should I play? I guess we'll play, you know, FPS Russia here. Just to show you guys that it plays video. Or how well it plays video. So as you can see... Like is that Agent Orange? Oh, well there. Hello, my friends. Okay, well, as you can see, it's playing HD, it's playing there. We can blow it up, you know, it's per it's perfectly fine. Hardware accelerates, so video works. So that means Netflix will work as well. And that's basically it. It's a great, it's a great alternative to the default CM9 Alpha you get, you've got before. And I highly recommend it. So just comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys later.